Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, welcome to this short presentation on the SOTA FlySense Vape Detection uh, Unit or Sensor. Uh, my name is David Pugh. I'm the National Sales Manager for Western Advance within Australia, and we're very proud to be the, uh, the master distributor of these um, range of products um, to help stop the epidemic of vaping uh, going on in our schools, uh, which is affecting the health of our kids. Um, so SOTA Technologies is a, an American uh, organization. These sensors are uh, American made. And as an introduction, um, SOTA was uh, tasked by principals in the US to, um, to develop a sensor that um, could um, detect uh, vaping or vaping signatures, um, but also as a, as a, a secondary application to uh, pick up um, if anyone was screaming or shouting within a bathroom in a, in a high school. So um, these systems can pick up um, incidents of, or um, yeah, incidents of um, vaping, be it um, your, your standard vape, be it THC vape or your nicotine vape. Um, also your, um, your incidents of someone screaming and shouting in a bathroom. So these are a, a simple plug and play device. Um, you don't need an electrician to install them. All you need to have is an installer run a couple of um, power over ethernet cables or a power over ethernet cable to the device. This gets linked back to your school's IT infrastructure and then the system is hooked up to an online dashboard. So in this presentation, we're going to go through um, the, uh, the, the pricing model. We're gonna give you a demonstration of the, of the unit so you can see how it works and how it alarms um, and also the dashboard. Um, so you can see how customizable it is and how easy it is to use. Um, so without further ado, we'll crack on and we'll see you in the demonstration. Thank you. So we're at my desk in the office, just so we can do the demonstration for the vape sensor. Um, the system has or requires a dedicated ethernet port. So the designated ethernet port that we've assigned to this is at my desk, hence the move back uh, mid -pre presentation. So um, this is your standard vape pen. So this can be bought at any um, I guess, you know, corner store, I guess, or your uh, your Cloud9 vape dispenser, so uh, dispensary. So what we'll do is I will turn the camera on to the uh, vape sensor so you can see it and then we will activate the vape pen and you can then see the alarm come through to the email. Okay, here we go. And just like that, your email has come through at 4.06 p.m. Vape detected Western Advance first floor Perth. And it is that easy. When you receive your SOTA FlySense unit, um, you will uh, need to register your organization and yourself as a user. So we'll First, what we will need to do is, um, on the back of the Soda FlySense system, you will need to record your MAC address and your serial number. And uh, as this will be um, the way that Soda will know that you have bought or you have a, a, a registered demonstration unit for this, and they will then give you access to the dashboard. So we need to go to the, the registered um, website, um, sense.sodatechnologies.com. Um, put in the serial number um, that you've recorded, and after that, you'll be put through a, a an onboarding process. So you'll see here, register your organization. So you'll need to put in your uh, your organization, your school, your address, city, um, country you're in, etc. Um, device serial number. So to register your organization, you need a registered uh, SOTA product. And then that, this will allow you to complete the onboarding process. Next slide. Um, then um, after you have submitted that previous um, document, you will get an email with a, a password. So you'll need to put in your user email and password, and it will then uh, uh, let you onto the system so you can use the dashboard. Once you are registered or registered your organization to the uh, to the system, you can then have access to the dashboard. Now, so this is what the, the dashboard looks like when you've logged on. 
So you'll see if there's um, in the top panel, if there's any incidents today, how many active devices you have um, on your at your facility, how many active subscribers uh, you have and or users of the system and any report or analytics that you want to look up. So it's um, very user friendly. Uh, we will go on to the devices. So you'll see here that um, I have uh, one uh, SOTA FlySense unit registered to my organization and I have put in, uh, I've, uh, I've noted what that is. Um, it's the Western Advanced Perth uh, system and it's located on the first floor. Um, in the past, I've received six notifications of, um, be it vaping, be it tamper, detection, um, and uh, I've registered the MAC address. Um, so the the FlySense system knows where that is. At the moment, the system is offline because I don't have it connected while I'm doing this presentation. If I want to add a new device, I press this green button. This brings up a um, device name location. So you can say, okay, this is um, going to be located in the male toilets on the um, uh, east wing of the school in block C. And you put in the MAC address. Um, the alert timeout, if we move down here, the alert timeout is um, after we receive an alarm to an email or a uh, SMS, how long do we not want to receive that email uh, or SMS again? So we've set this to um, 10 minutes, um, just so you're not receiving um, continual alerts from the uh, single um, the single event. Sound threshold. So this is an alert for uh, any sound anomalies. So um, the 90 is not decibels, it's a, it's a reading. The reading goes from approximately 70 to 110. And what um, Soda has found is that 90 as a, as a, as a, as a number is the, uh, is the correct amount for um, testing this. So we've we've registered a system. We have uh, told this. We've registered the unit. We've told the system where it is located, and uh, we've also mapped it back to the um, to the dashboard. So we'll move down to subscribers. So your subscriber is essentially say a, a teacher or someone who does not have um, the the online access or access to the the dash the dashboard. So your your users will be will have that access. So you, if you want to add a new subscriber, we will then show, okay, um, our first name, our last name, our email address, also the, the number, of our, our mobile phone number, and then we can select devices. So if you've got um, 10 units, um, 20 units at your site, you can select um, from here which units um, your um, new, per, new subscriber that's being put onto the system will be registered for. Um, and then you can also say when you would like to receive these um, alerts. So, for instance, you wouldn't want to receive them on Sunday or Saturday on the weekends. Um, so you can receive them Monday to Friday from 7 till 4 or from 9 till 4 or however you want to customise it yourself. Um, say if I don't work on a Wednesday, I can click off Wednesday and then I won't receive those. So let's um, click out of there. We would normally save that, but I have already registered myself as a subscriber. Um, subscribers, as said before, are your teachers or people who do not have access to this dashboard. Your users for that, for um, on the other matter, are say your uh, your your network administrators. So your um, people who who do have access and can. Um, uh, can overlook or can make changes to the system. So um, same thing, add new user, you would then say new user, uh, last name, email address. Your, your, those um, users will receive um, uh, all of the alerts um, so they will know what is going on. So with this system, as you may remember from um, a previous, um, previous slide devices, I have one unit that is um, registered to my address. So I have a look at the alert history, and you'll see um, where uh, where we were testing the system. So um, on our um, as we on you'll see on the twentieth of the ninth down the bottom here that we had a, a confirmed detection 
of vaping. So um, I have come through, uh, when you receive an, an, uh, an alert, it will come through as an unconfirmed detection. I can then flick that as a, yes, it is a confirmed detection. So then uh, we can save that to our, um, to our log and then we can know that that is a, a confirmed detection. Uh, what we've um, also tested here is for tampering. So if, if um, a student were to get within 30 centimeters of the, of the device, then um, the, the system will register that it is being, um, being tampered with um, and uh, we'll set up an audible alarm just so they will know not to come any closer to the system. Um, so that is a, a benefit of using the, the FlySense system. So you've just seen a demonstration of how the system works um, and how customizable the dashboard is to your, uh, to your teachers um, who want to receive these alerts. In terms of pricing, um, pricing has worked um, out per school, as you could imagine. Um, what we have found, or something to keep in mind, is that um, schools will generally buy in quantities of 10 or 20, 10, 15, 20, um, depending on how many bathrooms that they do have and how many areas that they want to cover. So um, please keep that in mind. Um, installation for these units, as we said in the introduction, is very easy. Power, power over ethernet cable goes back to your IT infrastructure. You don't need an electrician to install these. Um, just run a cable to the unit. The unit get, then gets hooked back to the, um, the dashboard and then you can customize the alerts how you want to receive them. Um, as I said, we're very proud to um, be the um, distributor for these products. Um, very concerned about the health of our kids moving forward, uh, especially when we don't know what's going to be in the vape or um, what chemicals they could be inhaling through these horrible machines. Um, so um, please um, do keep us in mind if you're looking to purchase these systems. Um, we're very proud to get them out to Australian schools. Um, my name is David Pugh. I can be found at d.pew at westernadvance.com or my mobile number will probably be in the description below. Um, yeah, thank you for tuning in and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.